Hey, what's up guys? This is Basil81 for Rebel Gaming, and this is my video review of the survival horror Amy. Now, I'm going to struggle to do this because I don't think words can really describe how much this game fucking sucks. I mean, it's probably one of the worst games I've ever played in my entire life. Ever. Uh, oh, there you go. There's uh, Morgan Freeman, or rather what Morgan Freeman would look like after he had an uh, actual stroke. The first thing you'll notice about Amy is the animation of all the characters and how it absolutely sucks. Their faces don't move, you wouldn't know whether they were happy, sad, you know, having a dump or being raped. Their expression is exa exactly the same the entire way through the game. It doesn't change. Oh, there was the star of the show, Amy, who in this game is playing little girl who is vocally challenged. But to be fair, all the fucking actors in this game are vocally challenged. I mean, it's some of the worst voice acting I've ever come across in my entire life. If you've ever seen a movie that starred Madonna, the acting in that movie is better than the voice acting in this game. Seriously, if Misery and Regret got together, had a baby, and that baby became a game developer, that baby would make up Amy. That it's the game it would make. I mean, don't get me wrong, I, I'd love survival horrors. I really had high hopes for this game, I really did. But I mean, comparing Amy to any survival horror that's ever been released ever would be like comparing an ice-cold beer to a big puddle of shit with like a dead cat in it. It's that bad. It's just depressing and frustrating to play. It's not fun at all. I mean, I think the only upside of this game is it's cheap, but I got it for free and I still think I got ripped off. So let's talk about the gameplay. It's clunky, it's wooden, it's awkward, it's frustrating, and it's so overly complicated it's stupid. As soon as you think you're getting a handle on it, Amy starts to get weird special powers, and then you've got two douchebags to control rather than one. It just, the whole process doesn't, just makes it completely unfun. I mean, you remember how it wasn't fun controlling uh, Mortal Kombat 3 finishing moves back in the day? Where it was like up, down, left, right, square, circle, do a little spin, take down your pants, do a shit on the floor, and then maybe you'll pull off a finishing move. This is worse. I mean, it's just it, completely unrewarding as well. You manage to do all these stupid little moves, and it's, you know, the game just doesn't get any better at all. It just gets worse and worse as time goes on. It should get better, more rewarding, but it just doesn't. It just gets worse and worse and just pulls you into a pit of misery. You don't want that. That's not what games are for. Games are supposed to be fun. This isn't fun. This is the exact opposite of fun. I mean, it really does suck old man's balls. I mean, you know, it's like the big balls are in your face all the time and you can't help it. Oh, no, they're in my mouth! Oh, no, 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 no. Sucking on the balls! Oh, no, no. And it's like that all the time. Sucking on big man's balls. It's horrible. No one wants that in their life. No one. Not even freaks. No one wants that. I know which way the developers were trying to go with Amy, but just a swing and a miss, lads. I mean, you've got nothing to back up a okay story at best. The graphics are poor, the gameplay is poor, it's just frustrating, you don't want to continue. I mean, I got past the second chapter and just wanted to kill myself with a light bulb. I didn't even know if that was possible at the time, but I was willing to give it a try. Anything so I could stop playing Amy. The characters are all wooden. I mean, you, you, just, you don't you don't get on with any of the characters at all. One of the first ones you meet is a paedophile taxi driver called Marcello, and it's like, I just cannot wait for this guy to get off. It's just he's doing my head in, like the whole thing is. I mean, I think it'd be fair to say that there's a good possibility if this game was released in 1992 for the Dreamcast, then maybe, just maybe, it'd have a chance to being a half-decent game. But come on, lads, it's 2012. You're up against too much competition just to, you know, bat out any crap. And I don't know if it was just because I had one of the first copies making it quite buggy, but saying this game was buggy does not do it justice. I mean, it kept going wrong and freezing, and the video kept jumping out about all over the place. And it's just one of the many things that makes Amy just an epic fail of a game. Got a hand it to the developers, though. They did manage to find one piece of gameplay that was even more monotonous than the actual gameplay, and it's these fucking puzzles that keep popping up all the time, just pointless, ridiculous, boring puzzle. I mean, are they just fillers to make the game seem longer? To make you seem you're getting more for your money? You're not. You're getting the same bunch of crap that you were going to get before. In summary, Amy 
had an okay storyline, but it just wasn't backed up at all. The developers didn't take any time concentrating on the little pieces that put a game together that make it enjoyable. Just wasn't fun at all. This is just one massive bag of epic, epic fail. Give this one a wide breath, lads.